Alright guys, what is going on? This is your Angry Birds NASCAR fan, the Blue Jury 48 fan here, and welcome back everyone to the NASCAR 15 season mode. In this episode of our season, with Jimmy Johnson and the number 48 Lowe's Pro Services Chevrolet, we are going to be completing race 16 of 36, which is taking place at Sonoma Raceway. The first road course of the season. Unfortunately, the last race at Michigan, it did not go as it it did not go as as what I'd hoped it would be um i had a lot of high hopes going into that weekend and um uh, i thought we were gonna get a really solid finish out of it but um fortunately quite uh, fortunately um i think it was either lap one or lap two um made some con a got car got loose and made contact with another driver um no caution ended up coming out after as a result of that whole thing so um so really unfortunate but you know what it is what it is so um it's yeah but just got just got to move on that's all we could do uh but anyways uh we got uh sonoba and we got uh daytona coming up and let me let me make this change right now both of these races are going to have the full 100 percent ai difficulty because if you guys remember the rule change that i made back in uh back in uh richmond i said that um any track that is uh, less than two and a half miles. Um, any track that is less than two and a half miles, with the exception of super speedways and road courses, those will have ninety percent difficulty. This is a road course, which means we ha we are going to have the full one hundred percent difficulty for this race, and we're also going to have it for the next race too. So, um, so hopefully, uh, so hopefully those races uh, will go well. But anyways. 100%, um, 22 laps here today, two times tire, two times fuel, cautious black flags, and damage and failures are full. But with that being said, um, looking to hopefully get a better, better result, uh, here today. Um, I'll be quite frank with you, um, I've been practicing, and I gotta tell you, it is not easy to get around this track, especially when you got a, especially when you got a PS4 controller and, you know, you're trying to steer the car and everything. Um, if I suck today, it's, don't blame this, don't blame this all on me. Blame it on the lack of turning radius on this controller. I've tried numerous things to try to, to try to increase, to try to increase the turning radius on this thing. Um, nothing, nothing worked. Um, so this is, uh, this is going to be interesting, uh, to say the very least. Uh, but anyways, I am going to go qualify and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, well... Um, we suck. What else, what else, what else can I say? We suck. So, basically, let's just, uh, I'm just gonna have the mindset that we're just gonna have to have a really good run at Daytona. So, qualified 40th. Yeah. I'll be honest, really, I'll be honest, really shocking. But anyway, Kyle Busch starts on pole. Cliff Boyer starts in second. Tony Stewart third and Kurt Bo and Kurt Busch will start in the fourth from the fourth spot. Um, yeah. So I don't know what we're gonna do on strategy or any of that stuff because it's clearly obvious that we are gonna have to uh, have to pull something here. So, or better yet, just try to try to work our way up and by any means necessary. But anyways. The green flag is in the air. We are underway from Sonoma, and good and please, Lord, help me in turn one.
All right, well, first lap pretty clean. Other than just little bumps and taps, but we're up into the top 20 already. So... Oh, boy. Yeah, they're all stacked. Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're all stacking up in the... The middle, uh, going into one there. Oh, shit, that is my bad, Martin. Okay. not expecting that teammates Carl Lippert and Matt Kenseth hitting hitting one another that could have been a really bad accident right there in front of me since it's in the grass a little bit and once again Kenseth off in the grass and now I'm making a move on Dale Jr. got a little bit loose going into the a little bit loose on entry. But we are going to pass Junior cleanly. Remember, Dale Junior, I believe he is also top five in points. So we got, so we got to make sure we got to stay ahead of him uh, for the championship. So what I'm going to do right now, since... Uh, Okay, Brad. A little bit squirrely there. Oh, my bad. Oh my gosh, that was not clean by any means, but... Oh, well, fucking, fucking damn it, I got a time penalty. Yeah. I, I totally deserve that. Alright. Well. That's definitely going to affect my positioning towards the end of this race. Because black flags and... Because uh, black flags are on. I keep forgetting this is, uh, yeah, this is one of those places you get a time penalty at. Ooh, Gordon got a little bit loose there. Gonna try to pass him clean. Now to the inside of Brian Vickers to cry and crack the top ten, and we do! So, so far, so, so far, so good, with the one exception of that little, little mistake I had the last lap. Alright. Oh, boy. A little bit loose there. That's why I gotta play with the throttle so much here at this track, because, uh, too much, uh, too much acceleration, and you're gonna get a lot of wheel spin. Anyways, past Hamlin now, and we're closing in on Greg Biffle now. He, by the way, I, he is the, I believe he is the points leader. Alright, gonna follow... Almendinger right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Kind of, kind of ran Biffle up in the in the in the grass, but I mean, I'm not sure if that was me or if that was Almendinger. But anyways, we're up to seventh now. I'm actually gonna take advantage of uh, doing a little bit of a little bit of a bold move here. Try to keep it at a little bit of a lower gear. That way we can actually stretch the fuel just a little bit longer. 
Because the way I'm looking at it right now is that uh, we go to about... Oh, boy. That could have been real disastrous. Wow. That could have been really disastrous there. What happened on what happened in the S's there or coming to the S's. But yeah, we're about seven seconds off of uh seven seconds off of Boyer for the lead. Excuse me, Blaney. Thank you. Oh, talk about a send. Oh, man. Oh, I think I got him in the wall a little bit. Talk about full send right there. Yeah, for the most part, I'm taking it easy now. Just sticking to my strategy here. I'm just trying to use third and fourth as much as I can. I mean, obviously, there are a few exceptions where I'm going to have to use a little bit of a lower gear. Just to, or let me correct myself, have to use first and second to, uh, to kind of... To kind of help the car a little bit turn in the in the corner. If that makes it that makes any sense, but but yeah. But yeah, it's looking like we're probably gonna only do one stop here. We're catching, we're catching up though to the, we are running faster than the leader right now. We are catching this next group of, uh, this next group of drivers here. We are in the top five, but it'd be pretty cool if we can get, uh, try to see if we can get up there with the lead before we have to um, make our stop. A little bit wider there in the turn that time, but we should be fine. So anyway, this is a uh, halfway now. So now we should be good to go on fuel. Oh, oh, doggy! Oh man! You don't save a car like that unless you have some skills. In that case, I had to use and utilize every single one of it. All right, so no pit stops I'm seeing by any of these guys. So we're gonna be staying. So we're gonna be staying out here too. More drivers in. Yeah, we're closing in on Stort now. Try and see if we can make the pass on Stort here going before we hit the S's and we clear them. Oh, we got in the grass a little bit. I will admit I kind of messed up the entry. I kind of messed up the middle of the the middle of the turn there, but regardless, though, we still got around Tony. I am actually kind of surprised none of these none of these front runners have yet pitted. But regardless, though, the lead is in our sights. 
Put a nose to the inside of Kyle Busch, and now we're up to position number three. there. Alright, Kurt Busch is coming in. Alright, Clint Boyer stays out. So probably either this time by or next time by we're gonna come in. Oh, fuck it. Hey, that would have been really bad. He was on my bumper. I was jerking that thing to the right. Hopefully he wasn't going to turn me. Thank God he did not. All right. This time by we're coming in because Clipboard is pitting now. Coming in now. Oh boy. Okay. Let's have a good entry. There's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just slow it down right away. Where's the uh, pit road thing? Oh, there we go. Okay. I could have been a little bit more aggressive, but I wanted to kind of I wanted to kind of play it safe there. Uh, no, just just yeah, just four tires fuel. That's uh, that's uh, that's all you gotta do. All By the way, I'm drinking some. Uh, I got some uh, body armor with me. I gotta tell you, ever since I had ever since I had it the 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 first time on my way to Martinsville. I've I've honestly been addicted to this stuff. Um, I'm eventually gonna get around to trying that strawberry banana one. But anyways, here we come. All right, so nobody in front of us. All right, cool. Well, um, we're going to see if we can try to track down uh, Clint Boyer here within five laps, or six laps, or whatever it is. Alright, be, be, be smart with your gears, Brandon. Come on. Take it into the inside of Tony Stewart. Once again, going to clear him for fourth. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay. We are good. We are good. All right. To the inside of Kyle Busch now for third place. Definitely a man on a mission, or, uh, well, I don't know if I should say a man on a mission, a bird on a mission, because, because, it, because technically I am an Angry Birds fan, so. But yeah, man on a mission right now. Especially with these four fresh tires. Her push messing up the turn just a little bit there. Ooh, got into the back of him just a little bit. Gave him a little bump and run. Still side by side going, going through up the hill. Could he use the lap car of Josh Rice as a pick? Oh, baby! Whoo! It's 
Surprised that wasn't a time penalty there. But anyways, we are closing in now on Clint Boyer for the race lead. We're going to be coming to four laps to go this time by. Got it good. Got it good. Breaking point. Through, um... God had a really good final turn there. Oh, Boyer gets a little bit loose. No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna try it just yet. It's too early to try it. It's too early to make it. It's too early to, for that. Oh, 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 baby! <laughs> To the inside of Boyer for the race lead and gonna clear him. Now we gotta get around these lap cars. Try and see if we can maximize the gap, but also hope that we can try not to get turned in some way, shape, or form. If we can get around these lap cars cleanly. We already we already grabbed we already got the hard part out of the way by grabbing the lead, but now we gotta get around all these lap cars. Oh man, this is just as challenging as as uh this is just as challenging as as taking over the lead from Boyer, trying to track him down. This this is this is just as challenging. Playing with that throttle so much all race long. Yeah, remember I got that time penalty. Remember I got that time penalty from 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 that earlier incident. So so if I can, like I said, I mean I do have five seconds on Clint Boyer, but God forbid something happens here. Which I'm actually kind of hoping it does not. All right, good. But anyway, yeah, if God forbid something would have happened, I would have had to have about at least a uh, five tenths of a second gap on Boyer to maintain my first place spot. But anyways, what a drive up from the back of the field all the way up to first place as we come down to take the white flag Final lap here at Sonoma. Can we score our seventh win in the NASCAR 15 season mode? Oh boy. Oh boy. Got in the grass just got in the grass just a little bit. Alright, no time penalty there. Into the S's for the final time. And now approaching the final, the final U-turn. What a race this has been. Clean pass, mostly clean passing. From the back to the front, played the strategy, chased Boyer down, and we are going to score our seventh win of the NASCAR 15 season mode. We win the Toyota St. Mark 350 at Sonoma. Let's go. Didn't have a, didn't have a great effort in qualifying.
Oh man, did did not have did not have a good qualifying effort whatsoever. Did not have a great qualifying effort whatsoever. Qualified all the way back in 40th. But Subway somehow we have we kept it green. The race kept the race stayed green the whole time. And we score our seventh win of the season. We tracked Clint Boyer down. Got some valuable points against some of the contenders of the championship. And we score our seventh win of the season. I gotta be quite frank with you. I thought I was gonna suck here today. I really thought I was. I real I really thought I was gonna suck here today. But anyways, uh Yeah. That was uh that was fun. That was fun. I enjoy I liked I I enjoyed that race. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go over here to turn seven and do some burn it down a little bit. That's good enough for me. Oh man, what a race! What a, what a race that was. I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Every every every. I I enjoyed it, man. It's an actual clean race. An actual clean race for once. Yeah. So. Oh. That was uh. That was. That was that's awesome. That's awesome, man. I, I finally that I somehow squeezed out this this win, even though I thought I was uh, I was expecting myself to do well. Um, but yeah, we end up winning here at Sonoma, even with the point five second time penalty, and we also set the fast lap of the race too with a one fourteen sixty. So not too bad. But anyways, Clip Boyer finishes in second. Tony Stewart, third. Kurt Busch, fourth. Kyle Busch, fifth. Kevin Harvick, sixth. Brian Vicker, seventh. Greg Biffle, eighth. A.J. Albertinger, ninth. And Ryan Blaney rounds out the top ten. Gordon, Hamlin, Edwards, Kozlowski, Earnhardt, Kenseth, Logano, McMurray, Truex, and Menard rounds out the top 20. Dylan, Kane, Newman, Smith, Larson, Bain, Annette, Alvarola, Danica Patrick, and Chase Elliott rounds out the top 30. I believe there are all there were also twenty six cars on the lead lap at the end of this race. Uh Gillen, Reagan, Allgaier, McDowell, Witt, Dylan, Labonte, Yaley, Stenhouse, and Burden. Jeb Burden rounds out the top forty. Michael Walter forty first, Casey Beers forty second, and Josh Wise is the last car to finish the race. Alrighty, everybody. Well, we uh new points leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is only one point though, but we have once again taken over the points lead here um, after today's race here at Sonoma because uh, uh, Greg Biffle he did finish uh, he did finish in um, the eighth I think he finished he did finish in the top ten he finished eighth so so yeah got some got some pretty valuable points right there um, with leading the with leading the laps and um, and ultimately chasing down Clint Boyer at the end and uh, winning the race. Uh, but anyways, we have a one-point lead right now over Biffle. Uh, Kevin Harvick is in third, Matt Kenseth in fourth, and Tony Stewart is in the fifth spot. Uh, with Dale Nart Jr. sixth, and uh, Clint Boyer is uh, currently now in seventh place, even though uh, even though the points seem to be messed up as uh, as they as they always are. Um, but yeah. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this episode of the NASCAR 15 season mode. Tune in next week for race number 17 of 36 when we take on the Coke 0400 at Daytona. I got to tell you, I got I got to tell you, we're once again heading back to another play track. Um, after after realizing what I've learned over at Dayto at both Daytona and Talladega, I'm really hoping for um, hoping for a pretty solid uh, pretty solid uh, outing over. Over at Daytona, hopefully you can try to maybe extend this points lead just a little bit more. 
Um, maybe go for an eighth. Maybe go for another win. I don't know. We'll. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah. So with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and join the Blue Dream Revolution today. And I will see you guys on the next video. And remember, stay safe, wear the mask, and as always, stay humble and kind, and make sure to get the vaccine.